the money, the fast life, and temptation of gang membership may be claiming the lives of the nation's young men and women at an alarming rate. Rival factions have resorted to the use of high-powered assault weapons to resolve their differences. Some communities have been ripped apart, not only by the illicit narcotics and firearms trade, but petty squabbles over territory and address codes. Neighborhoods and underserved locations have been transformed into enclaves of violence and conflict zones. The showboating has even crossed over to social media, where gang members brandish firearms and recite threatening homemade gangster music lyrics in accompanying music videos aimed at rivals. It's obvious that um, the criminals, they are becoming bolder and um, they would do whatever they want to do. However, I, it's, we must have a holistic approach towards um, solving, solving this and um, we the police, as I indicated, we have to inv investigate these um, matters. We must bring those persons to, to justice. And um, justice must be seen to pre have prevailed. Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy says the threat of hard time at St. Lucia's loan penal complex should act as a deterrent for criminal elements. However, Crime solving, that is, arrest, prosecutions, and convictions in the court of law remains the pressing issue at hand. Probably seeing that persons are uh, being sent um, convicted and so on, probably that could be a deterrent. Right now we have um, about, um, if I, um, I don't have the exact numbers, but I know we have quite a number of matters for um, murder that are uh, um, persons are on remand for or even on bail for those matters. But if we can see an end to those matters, then probably that could, that could assist. The advent of social media means the generation of instant content in the palm of your hands. And tech-savvy criminal suspects turn online influencers have resorted to this medium to issue threats. The law enforcement community is taking heed. What about the use of social media to meet out those threats? Can the police investigate some of those threats? And do you, have, do you guys actually have the capacity to actually take on some of these? Yes, actually we are investigating and um, this is one of the areas I said that um, we, were, if we could get assistance in um, identifying those individuals that uh, we, we, are hoping, we are hoping to see a reduction in yeah, once persons can be identified and brought to justice. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force continues to implore members of the public with information that can lead to the arrest or charge of criminal suspects to come forward. This can be done anonymously by dialing 45CRIME, that is 45274463. Sula Jalfred, HDS News Force.